Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. I just finished school about two weeks ago and I'm actually done for good this time. Yes, I have graduated with my bachelor's degree. It took eight really long years, but I finally got it done. Um, going to school, I could only do it part-time, unfortunately. I don't know if I've shared this before, but my mom passed away when I was 17 and um, I had to work to have a house and pay bills um, and basically to live over school so I have had to take only you know two classes here two classes there and um, at 17 that was really hard I somehow I was my mom passed away when I was in my senior year of high school and somehow I made it through high school I think I had like a 4.3 GPA or something graduated with honors um, and uh, I went on shortly thereafter once I turned 18 I bought my own house um, no I don't have a father um, I was like for a couple months an orphan of the state that's what I got from the court anyway thankfully I didn't have to go through that process because the paperwork uh, process is just so long by the time that they would have officially put me in a foster home I would have turned 18 so anyway I uh, I'm done. I've been in school since I was eight, since I was three really, but in college since 18. I'm now 26. That's eight years, eight long years, and it did take me four years to get my associates and another four years to get my bachelor's. But I'm done. I can't believe it. I don't really think it's sunk in yet. Um, but I just got an email the other day that they're going to mail me my certificate. So I had to go in and make sure, you know, my address and all that's up to date. And my commencement ceremony is in May next year. I don't know why. they My school only does a commencement cer ceremony once a year. Um, and obviously I didn't finish my classes in May of this year. I just finished a couple weeks ago. So I'm scheduled for May to walk across the stage. And that's really important for me. Because my mom, um, say, staying on the same storyline, my mom didn't get to see me graduate. So, and it was always really important for her, for me, to get my degree. I'm the first one in my family to get a degree, my direct family line. Um, so, it's it's a pretty big deal. Um, anyway, enough of that. That's why I haven't been with you all for, I don't know, I think July, right? I think July was my last update, August, July. Um, besides that, I just got back from Vegas. Uh, we were there for a long weekend. Last weekend, maybe it was the weekend before, everything's kind of blurring because I got sick. So I live in Maryland on the East Coast and um, I, I had this strange, it wasn't really a phobia, but kind of like a strange, like, ew, you know, I don't really want to fly, I prefer driving kind of thing with airplanes, so I, had, I have to like zone out on airplanes. Well... This is my husband and I, we love to travel. Unfortunately, the airplane thing, it's kind of like a pain because I do get motion sickness and I found that out the hard way on an airplane. Um, so it's just, it's really uncomfortable for me because I can't, you know, I can't cross stitch, I can't read, I can't watch a movie, can't really talk. I just have to focus, go into the zone and try to go to sleep. So um, the, the trip there was five hours. You know, it's on the West Coast, so going all that way, I was, was a little worried, but I think this is like my 10th or 11th flight, and by now, um, this last, these last two flights there and back, they actually, I didn't, knock on wood, um, I didn't get sick. I took Dramamine, of course, but I was fearing like I was going to freak out or something or get really bad nausea, but it didn't happen, and I was able to look out the windows for the first time, I saw the sand dunes, that's really cool. By the way, if you've never flown over the desert, Vegas, whatever, that's really awesome to see that, especially for us who live on the East Coast, we don't really have any of that over here. Um, anyway, that was awesome. I got sick though. I'm pretty sure I got a sinus infection because here it's super cold. It was like 20 degrees when we left, and over there it was a nice balmy 70s. It was like 72. I think the lowest was like 68, but that was at night. Um, so we were there for four days, and then, you know, it's really dry out there. 
And then immediately flying back, I'm pretty sure it messed with my sinuses and I got a terrible cold, a week long cold. I've been sick from last Thursday to this Thursday. We came back last Tuesday. Wednesday I was perfectly fine and then it hit me like Thursday I had to leave work early. I was just done. I lost my voice over the weekend, so if I do sound a little off today, it's because I am getting over a cold. I went through three boxes of tissues. It wasn't pretty. Um, thankfully, my husband, he hasn't gotten sick, so I think, it, I don't know if science infections are contagious or not, but he didn't get it. So, um, hooray for that. Anyway, I don't know how many of you know this, but there is a stitching store in Las Vegas, really close to the Strip. It's like six miles away. It's called Stitcher's Paradise. It is awesome. I do have haul from there to show you. I'm so excited about it because we have one in Maryland, but it's it's a little it's a little ways away from me. It's like an hour away, um, and they have really weird hours and it's they're only open of course when I'm working they're never open when I'm not working when I'm off and that sucks <laughs> so I'm really excited I got to visit that cross the store the owner I think her name is Gina she is so nice if you're ever in the area I super recommend you going it's gorgeous I took so many pictures I posted them on Instagram um, if you do have an Instagram, my handle is Caitlin, that's K-A-I-T-L-I-N, dot white, like the color, 15. Um, I have an Instagram, I do post, and I'm more active on there than YouTube. I'm so sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. Now that school's done right, knock on wood, maybe I can be like a regular floss tuber who everybody knows and looks forward to their videos. Maybe, maybe I can be one of those, right? I don't know. I'll, I'll try, guys. I really will. Um, I have this thing where I just get so nervous when I start a video. I have to keep restarting and restarting and restarting because I don't know what I'm saying. Probably because it takes so long for me to do these videos, like months in between. I'm so that's terrible because I I do love YouTube. I think it's awesome. I love being a floss tuber. I do like doing these videos mainly for the likes and the comments. Call me cliche, call me uh, whatever, a fame, not a fame hog, but a like hog, um, a praise hog, but your comments are so nice usually, and I don't think I've ever really gotten any bad comments, and knock on wood again, um, it, you all have been just so nice and encouraging, and all my uh, diamond painting fans who have joined my diamond painting Heaven and Earth Designs page. Thank you so much, you guys are, you know, that's why I keep coming back eventually to do these videos because I do appreciate your comments. I do like being a part of this community and I do like showing off what I'm working on um, and learning from you guys as well. So now that like, my long winded intro is out of the way, let's move on to my whips. I know you have seen this guy over here, it's not really a surprise, right? Hocus Pocus, yes I am. A very monogamous stitcher and sometimes it irritates me but I try to start other things and I, I just go back to this one and of course I like those big projects guys what can I say um, Hocus Pocus is not off the frame but I will take it off the frame so you can see it or the scroll bars in its entirety but first this thing is freaking awesome um, I happened across this lap stand, pure accident, I think I was on the Facebook group Cross Stitch Stands and Frames, um, and I saw that Michelle from Heaven and Earth Design, she uses this stand, and it's called the Jat Stand, Just a Thought Lap Stand, and Judy Odell sells it, she actually has her own Facebook group too, but she has her own website. And this was $1.95, that includes shipping. It's worth every single penny I paid for it. I love this thing so much because um, I had stopped stitching on my Hocus Pocus for a while because I had to move my Q-snaps. I had to remove my Q-snaps from my piece. Um, yeah, this is new too. I guess I haven't showed it in my quantum frame. Um, but I was worried about crushing the stitches if that's a thing. I think it's a thing. I'm not really sure. I still call myself a newbie because I don't even have 10 projects under my belt yet because I go for these big guys that takes years to do. I don't know why. Um, 
I like everything big. So, <laughs> um, anyway, this quantum frame I ordered because I heard nothing but good things about the Omanac factory. I think Orietta Stitches, she did several videos on these frames and she went and toured the factory and that really convinced me to buy these. Um, unfortunately, I think that I got a, like a fluke in this frame. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because this side in particular is always loose or more loose than this, this side. Um, for whatever reason, the fabric at the top, after I'm stitching for a while, I'll notice that, you know, this, it's really slouchy, there's a lot of slack here, and I, I have to continue to tighten it. Um, recently, since I moved over to another page, it's farther away from the edge, it hasn't been so bad. But again, I did just tighten it probably, like, a week ago. So, um, I, I don't know, I'll try to, to show you guys, I don't... Like, it's just, it shouldn't be that loose, whereas this one, you know, this has more stiffness, I don't know, it's more, it, it doesn't have as much give as this, this one feels really loose, this one's tight. So, I don't, I don't know, I, I asked, I posted in the Cross Stitch Stay in Frames group, and um, people were saying, I need more fabric, I need more fabric, I tried the more fabric thing, guys, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's better. It's definitely better than another project that I, I did start another project. It's better than that one. I did have to add fabric to that, and that one's better now. Um, but it was better than that one when I first put this one on the frame. But I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. But I did order more of these sidebars and a couple more top ones so I can make different sizes and maybe, you know, start more projects. I say that now, but um, my past doesn't really, I don't really have a great track record, do I? Anyway, let me unroll this piece for you all. Let me take these bars out so they don't fall on all my stuff. Yep, take some time. Alright, so here it is. Hocus Pocus. I think I have come quite a ways since you saw this piece last. Um, last time, I believe, I was still working on Sarah's head or her hand. I'm not really sure, but all of the ladies, all of the Sanderson sisters' faces are finished. I've moved on to the third row. Um, there's six rows total, so I'm almost 50% complete. It's only taken a, a year and a half. I don't know how long I've been stitching on this thing. Um, but again, that's not that's not full time. I've taken months and months, probably closer to a year from off from stitching this. Um, I haven't stitched as much on as I have not over the last year and a half. If that makes sense, um, but. I can usually get about, I can usually get a page finish on this in about 15 days, but that's only if I don't work on the weekends at the vet, and I have like 8 to 10 hours, solid hours, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to stitch. Um, but I think, I think it's looking pretty good. And you might notice a new little addition down here. Um, Julie at Nifty Needle, she is working with a clay artist and she posted this clay needle minder rendition of the Sanderson Sisters on her Facebook page, her Facebook group, and I knew I had to have it, obviously. So she sent that to me, but it's, it's coming along. I really, I want to get another page and a half done by the end of this year. I'm gonna really try guys. You know I got I got tomorrow off. I got this weekend off. So I uh, you can you can kind of see where Winnie's robe is coming in. You can definitely see her hand and um basically all of Mary's her dress her her garment is almost completely done. I think I got a couple more stitches in the bottom to put in. Um, but the rest of that area, I think, is shadowing for Winnie's 
robe top whatever you want to call it so I'm really pleased with that um, and like I said I did pull out something else to start I'm gonna put this to the side so I don't mess it up um, I did pull out something else I showed in my last video I started where is it I started This is called Abundance, and this is a Russian kit. Um, I believe the title or the brand of chart is Novo Slobodnik, and it's called Abundance, and it's a purely beaded chart. So there's, I, I just, I've only done this one corner right here, um, this hummingbird. This hummingbird is almost completely beaded. I've almost finished that corner, and it's really fine. It's, it's a great thing to do. Um, the color code on the side, that's just, it shows you all the bead colors you need. And the kit came with everything pre-labeled, so it's really easy to follow along. I even ordered a special little container for all of my beads because I do love beaded projects. You might be, um, you might think that's, that's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm guessing here. You might think that's something, considering that I like to do the diamond painting and that has those really small resin tiles. But I have this container and everything is just there. Um, these little these little bins and I have the colors labeled at the top. These are the ones I have pulled out that I'm working on right now. They all. I'm so far away from the camera, but I don't feel like inching closer to move it, so hopefully you can see what I'm showing you and I'm not making a pointless video right now. Um, I got my Tacky Bob. This thing is great. I love it. My friend gave me this because it's my it's my one friend, Harley. Her mom, she cross-stitches, and they're, they're so sweet. I love Harley's mom so much. Um, this is the container, and... I think I had it spaced out, whatever, they're all going to fall, I'm going to have to reorganize it. But I know you all have seen this container before. My plan is to put my Mill Hill beads in it and to affix a more permanent label to those containers at some point, but um, I don't really want to do that until I finish this project. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. That little hummingbird, I think... I don't know, I probably put in like, maybe like five hours or something, and that seems, that just sounds bad, right? I only have like, I don't know, maybe 50 beads done, but beading does take a while, especially when you're watching TV and you're, you got so much other, you're focused that you doesn't have your full attention, but I did start that. That's pretty crazy for me, but it's so pretty, I couldn't resist plus beads and I have a third start it's kind of really embarrassing <laughs> I probably shouldn't even show it but it's a little mill hill kit and what happened was um, I what I brought this to work with me at my second job at the vet and during downtime I was stitching on it and comes to find out I stitched for three hours with the wrong color I ran out of that color and I was pretty positive Mill Hill kits include enough floss for you for these kits and to even do like a whole nother of the same chart. So I knew something was wrong. I went home, I compared all the floss to the floss in my DMC drawers and they did. They included a wrong color. So I, this is what I have left and all of that is to be frogged. Um, yeah, I have to rip all that out still, which is really sad, but this is the guy I'm working on. Again, that one friend, my, my cross-stitch friend, Harley, she doesn't cross-stitch, her mom does, but she got me that for Christmas last year, and I really wanted a cross-stitch ornament on my tree this year, and I think my husband and I are going to put up the tree either tomorrow or this weekend, so... No, no, that's a bummer. Um, I got angry with it. It's in timeout right now until it gets its stuff together. Cause you can't, you can't be like that around me. You need 
to get your life in order and then we can talk. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And um, so it's in timeout until it can get itself together and I will continue to rip out the floss that should not be there. Um, next time, I work next weekend so I'm probably just going to take it again and hopefully I can get a little bit farther with the right color this time. Of course I stitched with the wrong color included. Whatever. Um, I did make a list because I like to pretend I know where I'm going in these videos but I end up rambling and not going in the order that I wanted to go in. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, I need a drink anyway. I think my tea is cold off, so I can show you this. Spirit Halloween this year, they, um, they released a Hocus Pocus line, and I bought a ton of stuff for Halloween. I love Halloween so much. This cup says, um, one of my favorite lines in the movie, Oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. And it's so true because I'm not a morning person at all. I am drinking um, white chocolate peppermint tea from Tivana. It is my most favorite tea. It is so good. It's so minty with just a hint of chocolate. <coughs> it's my most favorite tea. And this is what I love to drink in the winter, but it's good when it's hot out too because this, this tea, I love tea and this flavor is just so great. Anyway, um, I got that cup, and I got several of their other cups. I got all of they had a shot glass line. I got the whole shot glass line. Um, my friend got my actual cross-stitch friend, the only one I have. She got me a little graduation present, and it's a little mug. I'm not sure if it's from Spirits line or not, but it says, I'm the four Sanderson sister. So I have that one. That's my work mug. And um, I have another one. Uh, it's kind of like a wine glass, stemless wine glass. It says Binks is my boo. And then I have another big coffee mug. It says Hocus Pocus. I need coffee to focus. True. Um, and then I think I have another stemless wine glass that says something. You know, another Hocus Pocusy saying. I got. <coughs> I got the black flame candle which is awesome. It looks like one of those Roman candles um, that you see a lot in Catholic churches with the, um, I don't know what they are, the disciples, I guess, biblical figures on them. Um, but it has Binks on there and then it has the line from the movie, um, When All Hollow Is Eve, uh, Virgin Will Light the Black Flame Candle, the curse when he makes before they kill it or, you know, they end her life for a little bit. Um, <coughs> they don't technically kill her because she comes back. But um, I guess, right? That's how that works. I don't really know, but I love that movie, so I should know. I got the candle. Then I got a couple decorative pieces. They're like little um, canvas paintings. One I have in my kitchen. It says first, um, I think, it's like a list of things the Sanderson sisters do when at the end it says uh, brew potion to be young enough forever and there's a couple other canvases I have. I have the blanket they came out with the blanket and I also have the coasters um, I think that's it I, that sounds like a lot but oh I have the pillows so they made these awesome pillows and they're just silhouettes um, of the sisters hair so there's one pur there's purple Mary's purple hair in purple on a pillow it's all glittery Winnie's hair in red, Sarah's hair in yellow, and then I got a Binks pillow, so it has Binks on there, and I think it says twist the bones and bend the back. Um, so that's really cool, and that's still out right now, because we haven't decorated for Christmas yet, and I really love it, and I don't want to put it away. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I probably shouldn't have filmed, but I really, I was in a filming mood. Just so happens that I'm getting over this cold, and I, I've lost my voice. I did lose my voice, I think it's coming back. Maybe I'll hear myself. I hate listening to myself. I'm sure a lot of people hate listening to themselves, but I hate listening to myself, and I bet you it's even worse, like, when I'm sick. Isn't, I think that's normal for people, but anyway, my voice to me is so annoying. Thank God my husband thinks it's cute. I don't know. I don't, would you marry somebody if you thought they had an annoying voice? Probably not. Anyway, um, where am I going with this? 
my whips, I showed you them, I'm going to have such a huge mess to clean up. I actually have three now guys, three whole whips, and if I can finish that one mil hilt ornament by the end of this year, I'll be pleased. I'll be super pumped if I can finish another page on Hocus Pocus. I want to do more of my bead kit, but like I said, um, i really rather work on Hocus Pocus at the moment. And last time I saw you guys, I think it was July, um, or it must have been August either end of July or August, but right after I filmed, I ended up going to Otakon. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but in my previous videos, I have let on that I am a huge nerd. And I love things, all things geek, all things craft, all things video games, comics, Pokemon. That's me, I'm your girl. <coughs> and Otakon, um, I ended up treating my friend, well, she, we both bought tickets, but it was my friend's birthday when we went. The My friend that got me the cross-stitch kits, her mom, she cross-stitches. Harley, I'm just going to say Harley. My friend, my, the friend I'm talking about, her name is Harley. Um, it was her birthday, and we went on her birthday, so I ended up treating her to a shopping spree at Otakon, this convention. And what it is, it's an anime, manga, um, Japanese, Japan, middle, whatever. It's that kind of convention. So they had a ton of anime. They had Crunchyroll booths. They had a lot of um, anime screenings, so they were playing a lot of anime. And they had a bunch of manga for sale. But what I found, I think, most interesting was Artist Alley. And for those of you who have not been to conventions, Artist Alley is basically an in-person Etsy. So all of you know Etsy, I'm sure. You, can, you only buy handmade things on Etsy. So Artist Alley is everything there is handmade. And sellers come, a lot of Etsy sellers were there. They come and sell their wares in person at the convention. It's really awesome. There's a ton of things there. There's posters, prints. Um, there is a lot of pins. I love pins. You guys should know that from my wall of fun. And there was, you know, magnets and keychains, what have you. So we ended up spending most of our money <laughs> over there. But there is also the dealer's floor, and that's where... Um, the bigger name brand company or store, that's where they were. So there was a lot of statues over there, there was the, the manga and the books, and there was a couple um, like up and coming comic book artists, it wasn't manga, it was comic books, so they had some comic book artists over there selling their comic books, and it was, it was a really fun time. They had um, a lot of Japanese food, but we ended up eating Jamaican, I think. They had a Jamaican eatery in their little um, area, their little food food court. So we had, I think, curry chicken. We had a great time. It was in D.C. Otakon's in D.C. this year, so we went to D.C., we took the metro, and immediately after I went, I told my friend Harley I wanted to share this, my haul with you guys, and I just, I, I've been having this backpack full of Otakon haul in my craft room until I could share with you guys. And no, this isn't cross-stitch, but some of you, you know, I think you, you could appreciate this, and if not, you can fast-forward or you can leave, but I do have more stitchy stuff to talk about, but this caught my attention right now, so I'm going to show you all. Um, I love blind boxes, and this is a uh, Pokemon blind box. It's called, I think the brand is Remint, Remint, there's a ton of these in Japan, and what it is, um, they're like very small scale figures, and usually each blind box series has a theme. So this one I saw, it's it's Pikachu in various forms um, with ketchup, with various ketchups. So the little Pikachu I got, Pikachu is on a ketchup bottle. <laughs> It is so cute. He's winking. Um, Pikachu is on the label. And I love Pokemon. I hope you guys can see this. I'm so far away, like I said. But he's really cute. And there's a bunch on here. There's Pikachu and looks like there's pasta sauce on the side that he's he's staring over a bowl. Um, a hamburger with ketchup. Ketchup on, on pa pasta, I guess. I guess, well, tomatoes, ketchup, yeah, it's the same thing. You make pasta sauce out of tomatoes. <coughs> and you make ketchup out of tomatoes. So that's one. I got a ton more. I opened them all, but I didn't take 
these really, really little ones out of the packages. So this theme, it's another Pokemon one. And this one is the, um, it's a cafe. So it comes with a bunch of different, there's like pancakes, there's burgers, there's waffles, there's uh, eggs and sushi and tea. And it's really funny because each of these boxes comes with a little chiclet gum. And I think that's so cute because we don't have anything in America that really comes with candy when you get a toy, not that I'm aware of. Anyway, I got the pancakes. Pikachu pancakes. It's so cute and everything is like Pokemon themed. So this, I think, is lemonade. And you just, you're supposed to put all this together and here's a straw with a little ice cube. These utensils, they have Pokeballs at the end. And this, I believe, is syrup. And the topper is a little Pikachu head. And these are so cute. I found them on eBay, obviously cheaper than at Otakon. But this was the first time I've ever seen these in my life was at Otakon, so I had to buy them. I had impulse buys. And I didn't wait or be smart and check online to see if I can get them for cheaper. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This one is the Pikachu room. <laughs> so everything is Pikachu themed and there's, um, it's more like a, like a rest room kind of area. So not like a bathroom, but kind of like a relaxing kind of, there's like TV, there's chairs. There's tea, there's a master ball, headphones, slippers. It's more like a room, I guess. Um, there is some food in here. I guess you would have food in your room, right? Tea, I have tea in my craft room. Anyway, I got the Lit's whole um, headphone set. And I think this is supposed to be like one of those beanbag chairs. So Pikachu is a beanbag chair. You have the Walkman here. That's Pikachu themed. Here's some Pikachu, I think these are waffles. Then you have the Master Ball and the Water Bottle, and the Water Bottle has Squirtle on it. I'm so in love with these. I want to build, they actually sell these in Japan. I wanted to go to Japan so bad this year. I thought we were going to, um, maybe next year. But I really, really, really wanted to go to Tokyo. And, um... <coughs> I actually ended up getting a personal shopper I found on Instagram to buy me a bunch of stuff. It's another story, I might talk about it. Um, but they actually sell little miniature houses and people set up, they'll, they'll get the whole set and they'll set up the little house and it's so cute. I'm, I'm into miniatures, I like small things. I don't know is that why I like cross stitching, why I like diamond painting, but I'm really into miniatures. So. I got that blind box. I think that might be the... Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. So, I don't know how many of you know what Tokidoki is, but I also really love Tokidoki. And at Otakon, they were selling... I, I love blind boxes, too, if you haven't caught on to that. But at Otakon, they were selling these cactus kitties, and I've been collecting them. Of course, once you get so many blind boxes, you kind of get fed up. Once you receive so many doubles, and then you just kind of start looking for individuals. Well, at Otakon, um, one table had a ton of blind boxes, and they had it labeled on the top, if you can see that number, and they um, labeled what each, which each blind box contained. So, I got a couple. One of my other friends, she was collecting these kitties too, and she was missing one. So I got us a couple that I knew for sure we were missing. I'm not, I don't remember which this one is anymore, so I'm just now opening this one. And usually they come with a little, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Um, no, okay, he doesn't. This is the, the lucky cat. Um, you know, you see those cats with the paw, and they usually have a coin. So this one, he has a dollar sign on his head and a, point, a coin in his paw, and I have several of these, but I kept getting doubles, so I stopped collecting them, and of course, one of the most popular ones that I wanted, I think that was the hardest to find, that one sold, that one they didn't have anymore, but I got this one, I think it was like $3 or something, because they already opened them, and usually, I think I saw, we were getting them retailed for like 
eight dollars so it was this was definitely a good deal because I knew what I was getting and I think I have four or five non doubles and I think there's like ten or so in this series so I really I love these guys <laughs> um, that's awesome I think his name is Lucky actually but I'm not sure <coughs> moving on from the blind boxes gosh oh okay I think this is if you guys know Kimchi Kawaii, she is an Etsy seller, but she also, I think she sells on Etsy, but she started by Kickstarter, so it was like a crowdfunded campaign to make plushies and pins, and this one is Parista Poffy. He is a little coffee Danish, and he's supposed to lay on his back like that. He has little icing stripes on his side, a glittery tummy, and he's just so happy. Um, she makes the, I think she mass produces them now, but she came up with the design. She has so many, uh, cute cat plushes and pins. I saw them and I had to get a plushie, so I, I had to get him. He was so cute and little. And so soft. Parisa Poffy, this little Danish. She has a bunch of, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. There's like steamed buns, so steamed dumplings in that bamboo container. But um, the, the dumplings were little rabbits because they're steamed buns. So everything she does is like a pun. It's punny. She has, um, gosh, I w wish I could remember. She just made a new one. It's a cat. I think it's like caffeinated kitten or something. But it's a coffee cup and it's a white cat with his fur like all staticky and crazy because he's like caffeinated, right? Freaking out. But she does a lot of really cool things. She had a, um, I think it's Meow Mint Cappuccino or a Cat Cappuccino, Cat Cappuccino. And she does pins, like I said. So I did get some more pins that are in here. Oh my god. This was the running joke <laughs> at Otakon. And I saw it and I had to have it because Pikachu Pokemon. I need a wristlet. But when I saw this, oh my god, I died laughing. Look at him, all Otakon, and probably for a month or more after, we were just, <laughs> Pikachu, <laughs> look how angry he is, <laughs> on the back, Pika Pika, because <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm laughing and nobody else who's watching this gets it, um, but Pikachu in the anime, he always gets really super, you know, when he does his little attack, or when he's talking and he's happy, it's all like, Pikachu, you know, all cute and happy, but this, he's angry, and he's like a derp, so he's like, Pikachu, and <laughs> I don't know why, but this was so funny, it's still hilarious, you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I had to get that, and it's leather, it was, that was an artist alley, she made it, and I had to buy it, it was so cute, this shirt is awesome, and I completely forgot I had it, I would have worn it on Halloween, <coughs> It's just a shirt. I'm sorry I keep coughing, guys. But I saw this and I thought it was awesome. I had to have it. So I got it. That's what you do when you have to have something. Um, what else do I... Oh my god, I got so much stuff in here. This this video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. So, I don't know if I said this before, but I love Totoro. And I showed my scrapbook in previous videos. But I love stickers, too, just in general. So we got some Totoro stickers. And they're puffy. These are all like the puffy soft stickers. And then, um, oh my god. Corgi. Corgi stickers. These are all puffy. And I think this is Sumo Garashi. If I butchered that name, I'm so sorry. But I love these. These are like, what these guys are, are, they're like what you would find under the couch or under you know, the cabinets, they're like dust bunnies, but they're, they're characters, and, um, <laughs> they're, so, they're so cute, I don't know why, but it's like, the concept is weird, but it works, because they made it so cute, and these are, I forget what this character's name is, but I just ordered some stuff of him, it's a panda, and I love him, because he looks derpy too, there's a theme with me, I really like derpy, like Pokemon, and derpy stuff, and um, the derpier the better. <laughs> Maybe I'm like derpy. That's why I relate to it so much. 
I'm sorry, I know it bothers some of you guys when people drink their coffee. Sometimes it bothers me if there's like loud gulps, so I'm trying not to, but you can hear my throat, it's bad. I'm sick, guys. What's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, so then, you know I'm doing my diamond painting, and right now, like currently how I've done it, I um, have, what's that tape called? The, like the pale tape? Whatever, I've taped, because... On diamond paintings, for those of you who haven't done it, sometimes the sticky canvas area where you're supposed to put the diamonds, it overlaps onto the area that's not gridded. And dust and stuff and dirties will collect on there when you're working your painting. And I don't like that. I don't like to see it. I don't like my arms sticking on it. So I covered it with the masking tape. That's what it's called, masking tape. Well, they were selling a ton of washi tape at Otakon, so I got a ton, not a ton, maybe like five rolls, but I'm not gonna, like, I'll kind of show you, but you're not gonna be able to see these designs. This one is a cat, and it's drinking Slurpees, and this one is, um, again, Cat Cafe, so there's cat waffles, and I think, what is that, like a cat bread? I don't know, but here's two. I'll try to move the camera closer next time. This is a fail. Um, oh, and I'm playing Breath of the Wild Zelda. Yes, yes, so much yes. I just got off playing that for a while. I got the new DLC. Finally, I downloaded it. Um, so this is some um, Link. Link in action. He has his horse, and there's some chickens, and he's freaking out a little bit. So I got a roll of Link. Um, I think there's more rolls in here, but it's like, it's a lot, guys. Then I got stamps, because I love stationery, and these are Derpy Hamsters. It's a Derpy Hamster set of stamps. I got, oh my god, this mochi, if you guys, so mochi is a food, but they're also like little toys, and um, Mochi is like really soft. We we eat mochi ice cream, me and my friend at work. And it's just like a really soft, it's made of rice, but they add flavoring to it. It's almost like a cow tail. If you guys have ever had the caramel cow tails, it's like that consistency. But these little mochi animals, they had them. I got one for me and her. And um, they're just so squishy. So I've got us both bunnies because the other ones were kind of dirty. And I didn't, you know, they weren't really cute that much. So I got us bunnies. Oh, here's my pins I was talking about. So <clears throat> I have a thing for cats. Obviously, if you don't know that by now, I'm sorry, but I do. And I have a thing for like cat buttholes or animal buttholes. I just like not in person because that's gross, but like animated. I just think it's so cute. I don't know. I love. Am I weird? I'm probably weird, but I think anybody who watches these videos and relates to me is weird classified weird but that's okay <coughs> this one these are super super tiny pins and it's a cat and a donut and it's the front and back of the cat in like a series or like I don't know maybe in a black hole but the top is actually the cat's face and the bottom is the cat's butt and it has a little X for its butt and I just couldn't resist because I love little like, I don't like full on butts, those are gross, but I like when they're like little X's or asterisk marks. And that probably makes me really weird, but I don't know, I just think it's so cute. <laughs> like a corgi butt, who can resist a corgi butt? Um, on the theme of my comics, I love Catwoman and Poison Ivy. Harley Quinn's okay, but I prefer, I think my favorite is either Catwoman or Poison Ivy. Ivy. Um, an uh, artist in Artist Alley created this pin, it's Catwoman. Uh, she had all three, I think I only picked up two, like a terrible person, but this is Catwoman and she's holding a diamond, and it says bad girl on the diamond. Uh, that's going to go on my wall of fun. This, I don't know what's in here. I think this is just the guide from Otakon, but nobody really cares about that, so I'm not going to show it. <coughs> um, Oh my god. So this is a mochi cat too, but mochi is like, it's soft and squishy, right? So this is, me and my friend, we call them floofs, because they're just, 
they're so soft and fluffy. It's a floof. Soft, fluffy, floof. It's, it's kind of a word. It works. And I know there's a bunch of different varieties of these. But I got myself a brown one. And I picked up her. It was blue with snowflakes. And she already has one. The lucky cat one. It looks like the lucky cat. She already had one of those. Um, my badge. This is kind of cool. It's, it's see-through. And it says 2017 on it. <coughs> oh my gosh. I am just losing my voice here as I continue to talk. Another pin. This is a cat as a soft serve ice cream. I like bought all the pins guys. It's no joke. Kimchi Kawaii again. Like I was saying she had a lot of puns and a lot of pins. Here's one of her pins. It's a biscotti pin. And um, biscotti. So it's cats shaped like biscotti. Biscotti. Um, let's see. What else do I have? I keep saying um, I hate that. What's in here? Ooh, I know what these are. I can't believe I left all this stuff in here so long. I'm going to have to find like, room for it. So this is a little wobbly lucky cat. His bottom is round. So if you sit him on a um, flat surface, he teeters back and forth. And he's made of glass. And then this one, he's super, super little. I better not lose him. So one vendor had a ton of these guys. They're super, super tiny cat charms. And this one is supposed to be for, um, I think this is a good, healthy relationship. So I got this little cat charm. And that one is like my favorite because it's so dirty. I got this stationery set, Pup Cakes. And this is just some um, note paper. And that little candy that looks like a candy on the side, that's actually a pin. I couldn't resist that either because it was so cute. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, here's another blind box. What did I get in this one? Oh, what is this? Rotodex? I think this is the Rotodex. These one, this was a different Pokemon blind box that we don't have in the U.S. And I got, I think his name, that's like the, that's the Pokedex, right? But it's Rotodex. So you could get him, and you could get a couple, he's like kind of soft, but like a hard plastic, and it came with gum. So weird, but it's like nice. <coughs> Japan really wants people to have fresh breath. 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 <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know if I could edit out all this coughing. I'm saying that now and watch me not be able to. It's really bad. I got pins, because who can have too many pins? No one. And if you think you can have too many pins, you're wrong. I got a Totoro pin. He's so cute. And then this pin, I got one for me and my friend. I got the green version. I gave her a white version. But it's a little cat, and you have to press his tail down for the pin to come out. Oh, it's so cute. Can't. I think I'm almost done. Oh my god, it's so close. Okay, okay. so here's that, I didn't get Harley, I did get uh, Poison Ivy, that pin, again, Ivy, and she's holding a leaf, and it says Bad Girl. I think Harley, um, she was Harley Quinn, not my friend Harley, Harley was popping a bubble, and on the bubble it said Bad Girl, and I should have gotten it, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so these are the rest of my pins. I got this. <laughs> like, everything I got is, like, cat-themed. Whatever, I have a problem. So this is a Meow Kintosh pin. It's a Macintosh computer, but it has a cat on it with cat ears. So it's a Meow Kintosh. Then Kimchi Kawaii again. We got Mew Karoons. Like, macaroons, but Mew Karoons. We got... The Danish Palstry, so this is the plush I got, but in pen form. Then we have Peppermint Mocha, and it's a Peppermint Mocha, Mocha, coffee, whatever, but with a cat. And then these, I really, I couldn't resist, because like I said, I love dirt, right? So I have a Siamese 
catfish. These are pins, and then I have a calico catfish, and they're both so derpy. And then, of course, I have the dirt version of Lugia, because I believe Lugia is probably my favorite legendary Pokemon, just in case y'all didn't know that and wanted to know that. I'm so, like, I'm not gonna, well, a lot of floss tubers, right, they're sharing other things besides their stitching, so... Why not? You get to know me more, right? And I kind of, I like, I like seeing other people's haul of just random stuff. So I'm, I'm going to see, you know, what you guys think. I guess I'll know based off of the uh, thumbs down that I received. One of my videos got a lot of thumbs down. But I think that's because I said a bad word. I didn't mean to. Sometimes I just come out. I've tried to keep it PG since then. This is another um, one of those cactus kitties. So I forget which one this is. Oh, this one comes with the little extra. Like I said, I thought they came with extra. So this, I think, is Princess. And this is a gold cactus kitty with a crown. And she comes with a teeny tiny diamond and the diamond has a face on it. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But that's Princess and her diamond. And then last but not least from my Otacon haul then we can get into other fun stuff right that everybody's interested in. Um what is this? I don't even know. Okay. So last but not least one of the vendors were selling Totoro Lucky Stones. And I wanted them so bad. They're so cute. They have the tiniest little dust Totoro on the tag as a leaf. And the wrapping paper is all Totoro. But these are supposed to be Lucky um, Gems. And I think the guy was selling it for some outrageous amount. I think these were like... $10 a piece and to me that was that was just too much to me to spend on something this little um, But there's only two left and my friend even though it was her birthday She ended up buying these for me and um, They were supposed to be my Christmas present But I kept like she was I was walking around this the stand or whatever and You know I had walked I guess the transaction took a while because I was walking around and then I was done walking so I came back over to her and she was trying to be like sneaky about it but unfortunately I saw the guy give her <laughs> these so she just turned around and handed them to me and she was like happy early Christmas and I felt so bad because I wasn't supposed to see and I can't believe she spent $20 I guess on these but I think I, I really hope they're going to be cute. I really do. This is taking some work to get into. Oh my goodness. Let's see. What do we got in here? Oh, that's cute. It's like, it's just a little box. It's wrapped really well. Japan does stuff right. What is, oh, oh my god. This is so worth it. Okay. Yes. This is worth it, you guys. It is worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can't read what any of this says, but it's the little white Totoro, except um, he has a very light strawberry pink hue, and I'm assuming each one means a different thing, because we have pure white strawberry, we have like a gold, a brown, a very light blue, a light green, a gray, and a red. Oh my god. That's so cute. Okay, now, I, now I'm probably going to like search for the rest of these. And I got one more. Oh my gosh. I didn't even want to destroy the wrapping paper. I think I ended up doing that. <coughs> oh my god. I'm going to have to... I'm sorry. I'm really going to... I'm apologizing now because... I'm going to try to edit out my coughing, but if I can't, I'm so sorry guys, it's so annoying. 
I'll understand if I lose subscribers over this. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to make you happy and share my hobbies. And like this, this red is wrapped so well. Where are my scissors? It's like twine, like legit. And it's wrapped in a really good knot. They must have like some special knot skills. Oh my god. I thought I was getting over my cold, but the more I'm talking, I, I feel like the, the worse my voice is sounding. Now you're, I'm, I'm going to be sick over Thanksgiving. Boo hoo, poor me. I was sick. I had, I was sick. I was really sick for like three days. And then I kind of was like, alright, fuck up. Go earn your money. Hey, right, let's see what this one is. Something different. I don't want a duplicate. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> oh! Okay, what did I get? I think I got... He has to be... He has to be the blue one. Because he has like a blue kind of... Where's my other one? Okay, these are so cute and totally worth it. I'm so wrong. Okay. Look at them. He's more see-through and my other guy is more white. Hopefully you can see that. Oh my god. I'm going to try to lean closer. Look at how cute. I can't. Those are those are my favorite. They're going up immediately. I'm going to save this wrapping paper. Oh my god. And like each one is wrapped differently. So this one has a big Totoro with a big Totoro on it. This one doesn't have a big Totoro. It only has little ones. Oh my god. That was amazing. I don't know why I waited to open that with you. But now you've got my genuine reaction. Alright. That's my Otakon haul. I got a crap everywhere. Oh my god, I'm gonna have such a cleanup to do. Okay, so. Alright, that being said, where am I on this? I'm trying, like, I try and it just doesn't happen. Um, oh my god. Okay, so I got so much stuff behind me. I really hope you're in for a long video because I'm just gonna keep talking to get it all in. Like, I really, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, Speaking of, like, I told you I got a personal shopper from Japan, and this is only some of the stuff she got me. I got a ton more, but I didn't feel like taking it all down. So, this is the Halloween Pikachu for this year's Halloween, and Pikachu is a ghost. He has a little bucket of candy, and I just couldn't resist him. He was so darn cute. And I think this is so well made. His shorts are little pumpkin shorts. And this is probably my favorite plush I've ever gotten. And then, because I do go to a lot of cons, I like to think I like go to a lot of cons and parks, I got this Pikachu Ghost Packs. So, pass holder. So the back of him, he holds your pass. And you can probably hold money and stuff in there too, but I got lanyard, so he goes on your lanyard. And you can wear him. Oh, that's so cute. So I got my Ghost Pikachu pass holder. And then, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Gapachan. I think that's how you say it. Ga Gapachan. Gapachan. I'm probably butchering that too, but it's basically those little, like, 50 cent toy dispensaries that we have randomly. But in Japan, the toys that they put in theirs are a lot better and cost a little bit more. So... They do a bunch of Pokemon Gapachons, and I saw this coming out and I had to have them. I got, there was, I think, five in the series. I ordered five, I only got one duplicate. Oh my god, I like, and there was two Pikachu, so I got one Pikachu, but there's another Pikachu. So, I got the Beware, I got Pikachu, Mimikyu, and my favorite, the one that I wanted the most, Gengar. Gengar is my most favorite Pokemon is on the end here. So I got those and I love them. And then one of the last purchases I'll show you from Japan are these guys because they're dirt Pokemon and you know how I like the derps. So I got Pikachu because Pikachu, I think Pikachu was like in every single thing they make. You got Didion. And I got Rowlet. And I, Rowlet is my favorite starter from the new generation. Because he is just so cute. So they're all like derpy with derpy faces. 
And that is my Japan haul. I need a tissue now. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm making this video. Hopefully, you know, you all watch it. Because I feel like making it, but I feel like I sound really bad. <coughs> anyway, excuse me. Thank you. At least you're, like, watching me from the screen and you're not hearing per person, right? Um, so, this year, I decided that I'm going to make my friends and families and co-workers uh, little ornaments. So I bought this little ornament set. I bought enough so I got several of these kits. And what I'm going to do, these are bead and sequ or sequins and I think um, pin, sequins and pin kits. And I'm going to make one village, everyone is going to get one little village house. So my plan is to open this up and do this this weekend. And of course I got myself a full set. Is that, does that make me greedy? Um, because they're so cute. I wanted a full set for my tree too. So the sequin set, I've never ever ever done these before. But my grandmother and my mom used to do these all the time. Like my grandmother's tree was nothing but these little sequins ornaments. And all it is, it's ornaments. These pins in the back, you just stick them in. So you put the pin through the sequence and you stick it. I'm sure there's like a chart or something to follow. And um, the only thing else I see in here is like some gold braided ribbon and pipe cleaner. So pipe cleaner, it looks like um, it's for this one little house here. It has candy canes on the side. And that's pretty simple to do, I think, I hope. They give you enough, it looks like, so in case you mess up. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> wow, I'm I'm lucky that I'm still alive. I feel like I have the plague. Or I sound like I have the plague. And my hair is wet because I just took a shower. This is like the perfect storm. I haven't done this much talking all day. All week, probably. Um, man, I'm paying for it. Alright, I'm almost done, I promise. I think I am. I want to show you my diamond painting too, So, but I have to get up and take you to the table for that. Um, so, I got so much stuff over here. You all know, you know Stitchy Box, right? So this year I got the first, um, this was my first Halloween Countdown Stitchy Box. This is my second Stitchy Box ever. But my first Advent Calendar one, and it was really awesome. I got like a ton of little beads. I'm not going to show you this to you. I just thought I'd toss it out there. I think it's worth it. Um, I think it was like $70. And for all the stuff you get, the charts, in my opinion, they're not they're not my thing. And they're not worth it. I'd rather them not include the charts at all. Um, but everything else, I like and I think I could use. There's like a lot of threads and beads and ribbons. And there's some charms, like this really cute pumpkin charm here. It's really cute and tiny. Um, I don't know, because now I'm getting, like, I'm feeling bad now. Not, like, sick bad, but, like, bad that you all have to listen to me bad. Um, what else? I went on Stony Creek, and they were doing a pattern of the month for Halloween. It was a Halloween one. And I got all of the freebie charts and then I got all the charms and the flosses so here are the charts and it's gonna look like do I have it okay on the back here it's gonna it's a bell pull so it's gonna look like that I am stitching it all as one piece I got the fabric for it the same fabric that I stitched on and then I got the clinic the beads and um, the specialty, it's like, it's DMC, but it's like a special DMC. And all of the beads are out here somewhere. I'm trying to keep them together, but I know, like, I'm probably losing them. And then I got the cool ghost hanger to top it off with. So that I do, like, I have everything I need for this one. I do want to start this one, too, but it is on linen. I haven't stitched on linen before. I haven't stitched two over one. Um, but I feel like why not, right? That's a challenge. So why not try it? I don't know what's in here. Oh, my friend, 
she went to Bethany Beach for her parents own a uh, vacation home up there and it happens to be right next to a stitchy shop so like once this is the second time she's gotten me something from there but she brought me back a little Milho kit how cute no oh. so she thought of me and she got it because I'm stitching hocus pocus oh uh, that's so cute what else do I have I have so much oh my god okay so this I'm sure all of you know by now clay by Kim she's an Etsy designer and she designs clay like needle minders and needle tins and I bought she did a tiki series like at the end of summer so I got a tiki tin and a tiki needle minder and I love them because they're so unique and she always does like themes like holiday themes so she does 4th of July and Halloween and of course, every time she puts them up, because she's gotten so popular now, when I first found her, I don't think hardly anybody knew about her. And then I talked about her on my YouTube channel. Just kidding. Um, she, um, she's gotten so many more followers, and her stuff never stays in stock anymore. So, she has an Instagram now, too, and sometimes she posts when she's having sales. And that's just madhouse. That's how I got this. But that was insane. Everything I wanted almost like immediate. I was trying to add stuff to my cart. I had to buy these two in two separate orders because things kept selling out. It was crazy. Um, Alright. Well, I guess I am going to save some of this stuff for next time because I'm like done talking really. I feel like I sound really bad and I feel like I need to blow my nose. Um, but before I go, Stitcher's Paradise, the famous purple bags. This is from Las Vegas. So my husband let me get two full patterns kitted up. I was allowed to pick any two that I wanted. And, well not any two that I wanted, you know, a reasonable price. But I ended up picking, I believe this is called the Three Gables by the Cricut Collection. And it's a little haunted house, and, um, oh my god, this store is so awesome. She had a whole room just for fabrics and threads, and it was, like, crazy. So, she cut me this piece of fabric, and it's, it's like, um, it looks like a hand-dyed, it's called Vintage Country Mocha on 14 Count Ada. So, I got my fabric to go with it, and it calls for some DNC, but it also calls for a lot of specialty flosses. So, I got some Leek Style Works. This is Brick. I got, <coughs> excuse me. I got the button pack. Oh my god, this button pack is so cute. There's a ghost bat, the shutters, there's a pumpkin, witch's hat. That button pack is so cute. And then I got a bunch of this color, charcoal, charcoal and bark it looks like, and then adobe. So there's some more of the specialty flosses. And what else is in here? I think more specialty flosses. That's more bark it looks like. Yeah, more bark. And then we got a like a purple kind of purpley green. This is what's called basil. I think that's it. But then, um, like I really want, I wanted Vegas scissors. And they didn't have like any Las Vegas sign scissors. But I found, she showed me this pair and it's a cat. Um, and it's really cute. You can't really see the cat's face because the tape measures in there in the way but there you can see the cat at the top of the scissors hopefully you can see it from this far away and I, I bought those because now I can say those are my Vegas scissors even though they don't look like they're from Vegas I know I got them from Vegas and that's all that matters and then my second pattern that I got fitted up this one is a new one for me because it's the uncounted canvas 
So this is Christmas Panel by Laura J. Perrin Designs. And it's a sampler, a Christmas sampler. All of the lovely threads and crinic are in the back here. I think there's metallic shimmer blend ribbon. So there's, there's ribbon beads, there's DMC pearl cotton, and a bunch of crinic. And then it's going to be done on this sage green canvas. And I was told you cannot crush it, so to keep it rolled. So my question is, can I stitch, can I put this on my quantum frame? Like, is that okay? Um, because, you know, the quantum frame, they have that divot in it, and it's rolled, and it is, like, it's stiff. I don't know, I just don't want to hurt it. Is that weird? I feel like every, every stitcher probably has this worry, right? Don't hurt the cross stitch. Alright, I swear, I'm almost done. I forgot to show you this one thing. I got a Mill Hill kit there, too. Um, and I got this one because it's one of their newest ones, the Slay Collection. And it has a little Toto dog. And my dog, Ginger, my very first dog, looked like the little dog in the Slay. Alright, so, I think, where's my paper? I don't know, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to stay organized on topic. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about a bunch more stuff, but I'm just feeling like I gotta go. I'm so sorry. Um, Pin Pal, I asked for a Pin Pal in my last video. I failed so hard. I am so sorry, guys. I really thought that I was gonna have time to do a Pin Pal. I talked about it. I talked to some of you about it. Um, but I'm sorry, I just really didn't follow up. I've been so busy with school. Then we went to Vegas, and I got sick. Now it's Thanksgiving. It's about to be Christmas. I'm so sorry. Um, I still have all your names. I still have all your emails. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try so hard to eventually get back to you all. I'm so sorry. Because I do. I still do want a stitchy friend. I still want somebody to talk to about all my cross stitch, what they're doing, what they're doing in their part of the world, um, what they're up to, what their traditions are, you know, like around Christmas, that would be really cool. And I'm just, I'm so sorry. I know, I hope I didn't disappoint any of you guys. Um, I just, it, I lost track of it. <coughs> I was trying to make a time lapse video of my diamond painting, and I recorded over 80 hours. Um, I had started to record it on the second row when I got to the second row and I almost finished the second row. And unfortunately, uh, the the files, because I had to take them, you know, in increments, it wasn't a full 80 hours, but the video editing software I have, it kept crashing and I couldn't edit it all together and YouTube doesn't like anything over an hour and it was just... I couldn't speed it up fast enough on YouTube, so I'm so sorry. Like, I have it. I have the footage. But I think I'm just going to have to scrap it, and that really sucks. Unless you all know of some great video editing software, because, I don't know, I'm using a free one right now. I don't know if I should invest in a paid one. I don't know. Like, I don't. I just want something that I can piece together 80 hours of footage and fast forward it all. And then, um take the music or the sound that's in it out and put like a music track over it. That's all I want to do and then I can share that with you. Hopefully, I'm like, I don't know, I feel really upset about it because um, that was 80 hours and I was working on it for a long time. But, um, what else? recently, gosh, I feel, I feel it now, I'm so sorry. Recently, I've been playing my video game, Breath of the Wild, that's Zelda. And I just, like I said in the beginning of this video, I just got the DLC, so I downloaded that, and I was playing it. We got off early, so I was playing that for about two hours, and it is so fun. But I get so distracted in open worlds, like you're supposed to, you're supposed to be on a mission, right? You get all these side missions, and then it's an open world, and it's huge, it's so big. You just get distracted by oh, what's this over here? Oh, look at that enemy camp over there. Let me go knock these guys out so I can take their arrows and see if they have a chest or some, you know, rock formations around that I can get some rubies or sapphires out of. And 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're really missing out. But I got it for the Wii U, and I begged my husband to get me a Switch, and he just didn't want to because when they released Breath of the Wild, that's as I think they released it in sync with the Switch, and it was so new that he was just like, no, you know, all the other, the most recent Nintendo platforms have been kind of trashy, and it's true, unfortunately. They're not as superior as, um... They used to make them like the N64 and the GameCube. Those are my favorites. Some people hate on the GameCube, but those are some really good. That was some really good time um, I had on that. But I just saw Mario Odyssey, and oh my gosh, I've been watching playthrough videos on YouTube, and it looks so fun. But it's only for the Switch. So we have. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Dave and Buster's, but it's like an adult arcade. And that's what we like to do sometimes for dates. We'll just go up to Dave and Buster's and we'll just play games and games and games. And we'll rack up all these tickets. And when we leave, we won't, we won't use our tickets or anything. But except for like a piece of candy, like a nerd rope or something. We might get a couple of nerd ropes. And then we just, we keep, we've been saving these points since we've been together. And even before he's been dating me, that's over 11 years. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um... Last time we were there, we discovered we had enough to actually get a system. So in the rewards, like the turn-in area for your prizes, they have PS4 and Xbox in there, and, and those games, PS4 and Xbox One video games that you can redeem with the points that you get, the tickets you get. So last time we were there, we figured out that we had enough to get one of the systems we could have gotten a PS4. He has an Xbox One and I was thinking about getting a PS4 because I like PS4 games better than Xbox games. So I told him for Christmas he doesn't even have to buy the Switch, right? He can just go to Dave & Buster's and turn in his points for a Switch and then just like get me Mario Odyssey, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty smart, but he's like, I'm not using our points on that, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know, fingers crossed, I really want it. Um, I am, like, like I, I do game, I don't game as much as him, I cross-stitch more, but I, I am a gamer, I do play World of Warcraft. Um, if you all want to know what server I'm on, let me know. My character's name is Jinx. Um, no it's not, that's my username, my character name What's my character's name? I don't know what her name is. It's been a little bit. It's been like a couple weeks. I don't know, but it's something really cool. I got compliments on it, so. Uh, besides that, I picked up Pokemon, of course, Ultra Moon. I played about my um, brother-in-law and I had, had a Pokemon party this past weekend when it came out. And we played a couple hours, but... I'm pretty disappointed in it because the whole beginning, everything that i played so far, sounds, seems like the exact same of what I played in Moon, and I thought it was supposed to be like a remake, like you're getting a different storyline. No, it's the exact same. Bummer. I don't recommend from this point because it was so boring just going through the whole thing again. I thought I was getting a new game with new content, but at the beginning, it's what I've seen so far. I wouldn't recommend it. It's waste of 40 bucks in my opinion because it, it feels like the exact same game and that's really unfortunate. Um, besides that, let me I guess, oh Animal Crossing, oh my god, so they just released Animal Crossing, the camping version, for free on your phone. And oh my god, I am looking for friends. It is so addictive. I think I put in like six hours yesterday and then I played a bunch today. I think I'm at level eight or not, no I'm at level nine already. So if you play, um, I'm going to post my friend code in the comments below. Please send me a friend request. I will accept you. And I will know where it's from, hopefully. Alright guys, here it is. My diamond painting. Um, I'm going to take this guy off the stand so I can show it to you better. Um... This is diamond painting my dragon kin, my heaven and earth design dra diamond painting. So last time I believe I only had the top row in. And you can see I almost have a full second row in. Um, you can see the dragon's wing and her hair. I believe I finished all of her hair. 
Uh, I'm working on one of the last pages down here. So you can see my diamonds are out. But yeah, you got some progress there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And if I turn on my little light, you can see all the sparkle right now. If I turn on my light, that's a lot of extra sparkle. It's very sparkly. Um, if you are interested in learning more, you're, please feel free to join my group on Facebook. It is called it's called Hade H A E D Diamond Painting, and that's on Facebook. And I'll also link the group below as well. So this is what I'm working on. I'm on row two. I believe I'm on like page eleven or something. And there's 60, 61 pages. So this is my setup. I got these spinning towers. And that's my wallpaper over there that's supposed to go on this wall. Eventually, hopefully. It's like really cool, funky, retro purple rings. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys now. This video is about an hour and a half. Hopefully you enjoyed it all and, and I wasn't rambling too much and you liked what I talked about. And I'm planning to make another video hopefully very soon. And if you guys know of any video software editing tools, please let me know or any video editing software. And I'll try to edit or piece together my 80 hours of footage that I have of working on her hair. And I believe I was also working on the dragon's wing. But I could have just started working on her hair. So um, this is what the finished finished product will look like. So you can see I'm just like right here. So I'm hoping that I wanted to do a time lapse video of her face and the dragon's face. I felt that would be cool. But um, that's what I'm that's what I'm working on and. Uh, if I can get the time lapse video together, hopefully I can do a time lapse video of her face. And um, I'm thinking about doing another diamond uh, painting tools and review video part two because I got a lot more tools. They're over there, and they're over there, and they're over here <laughs> to show. And I w thought that since my first video was so well received. I would do a second one to show you even more tools that are out there and hopefully that one will be well received as well. But that's all I got for you now guys. I uh, hope you like, hope you liked what I had to talk about and I hope to see you again soon. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post pictures pretty often I like to think and that's caitlin.white15. I have it linked on my YouTube as well as on my main page if you want to check me out and uh, leave a comment or pop on my hate diamond painting page and I hope to see you all soon thanks for watching